Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we're checking out the newest Humble Software bundle. This is all about Vegas Pro Video Editing. Now, I hummed and hawed about including this one because it's kind of on the cusp of game development stuff. This is all about movie and sound editing, and I can see where that is definitely relevant to some game developers, but perhaps not to most. And I said in the past, whenever a Humble bundle comes out, if it is applicable, I will go ahead and buy it, give you guys a hands-on preview of exactly what is inside of it, and you can decide if the bundle fits for you. And as I mentioned, this one is right there on the edge of being relevant for game development. However, it is incredibly relevant for what I do, which is create tutorials for the web, create these videos and that kind of stuff, and I do video editing. So I was going to buy this for myself anyways, and that kind of tipped it in my favor of making a video. So if you're here for 100% game development content, I apologize, this one may not be for you, but if you are on the fence about getting this newest Humble Software bundle built around the Vegas Pro video editing suite, hopefully this video will give you some idea of what exactly you get in this bundle. So without further ado, let's jump in, take a look at the bundle itself, then we will look at the key pieces of the bundle. So. Let's head on over to Humble Bundle Software. You can see here, if you've never used Humble Bundle before, the way it works basically is you decide how you want your money to go. You can buy in different tier levels and then you can direct the money that you give in those tiers to different factions. You can direct some towards charity, some towards the, um, the software maker themselves, some towards Humble Bundle, and in this case, since they have an affiliate program, some to me, if you so wish, and thank you if you do. So it is kind of a great win-win program all around. The nicest thing with Humble Bundle though is it has become my good go-to place to acquire great new software that I'm never going to use again. And there has been a lot of game development stuff lately. And like I said, this one's kind of on the cusp. And truth of the matter is, Vegas was actually featured a while ago. So you're wondering, hey, wait a minute, wasn't this already on there? Yes, that was Vegas 14, and today we are on 15. And I gotta admit, I bought 14, I played with it, it's very powerful, and then I stopped using it because it was just not that usable. 15 fixed a lot of those things. Another thing to be aware of right up front, the star of this one, obviously, is Vegas Pro. And Vegas Pro 16 is just released, so that's why you are seeing 15 in a bundle. However, if you buy 15, you do get an upgrade deal, I think for 150 bucks to get the newest version, which saves you about four or $500. So even if you're interested in getting the newest version, getting 15 through the Humble Bundle and upgrading is still the best way of going. So this is a deal no matter how you look at it. So there's other pieces in this package as well. So first off, if you come in and buy the dollar tier, you get Fast Cut. Let me just tell you right now, don't buy the dollar tier. We'll look at Fast Cut in a second, but I verified, I guarantee that for 99% of you, it is absolutely not that useful. Um, but what we've got here is actually, we've got a, three tiers of video editing software that are gonna probably override each one. And I kind of thought it was basically going to go that the only tier here was useful was this last tier, but that actually didn't end up being true. Where I think where a lot of you guys would find a useful tier is actually right here, especially if you are very casual in your visual uh, vid video editing. Sorry, I'm babbling a bit. So we've got here Fast Cut Pro, which is basically video editing uh, in like a one-click wizard type approach. Then we come down here and you get in the, the second tier. So if you spend $22 or about $30 Canadian, you get SoundForge and Vegas. Vegas movie, it's movie Studio 15. Now these MSRPs are actually accurate. I checked on their website and that is the going price of these products. Now Audio Studio is basically a lot like the free Audigy package. Now it comes down to which one's workflow do you like better and we will take a look at it in a second, but it is all about editing raw audio files. And this guy is kind of a stripped down movie editing program, not stripped down to like a one click wizard, but it is actually quite simplified, but it's got a lot of the effects and logic from Vegas Pro. So if you want it easier, like if you don't want to spend the learning curve on Vegas Pro, and don't get me wrong, there is a learning curve on Vegas Pro, and I haven't learned it yet, so my demonstration is going to be very, very minimal. But if you want to just have more of a turnkey solution, Vegas Movie Studio might actually be for you, especially if you're just cutting a trailer or something to that effect, if you're doing simple video editing, that might be the sweet spot for you. But we're looking at, as it stands right now, and these prices change actually. So when I started this, I think this was 20 and then this was 25 for the tiers. Um, so it's $2.50 more to get the top level per version. So you decide. Uh, but again, this Vegas Pro Edit is a much more expensive version. Now you may wonder that edit moniker, what does that mean? Well, there is a fuller suite. So edit, the version of Vegas Pro 16, I think is trading for four or 500 bucks and there's a pro suite that's a little bit more. It just comes bundled with a couple of extra packages and plugins. So for most people, it really won't matter. This is essentially what you could think of as the full version. 
And then we've got DVD Architect, which is for turning your, your videos into DVDs, which is remarkably niche. I have no use for, but perhaps you do. And then we have Hit Film. I'm not going to be covering it today, but it is a bunch of special effects for um, Vegas Pro and maybe Movie Maker. I don't want to be quoted either way there, uh, but includes uh, a bunch of new things like letterboxing, tiling, neon glow, etc. So if you need special effects or more special effects for your video productions, you get them in the Hit Film Movie Essentials. But again, I'm not going to be covering those specifically very advanced in what we were going to be looking at today. So the way I identified it, this package, the interesting pieces are kind of fast cut, but not really. We'll see it very quickly. Uh, Audio Studio, Movie Studio 15, and then Vegas Pro. So let's take a look at each one of those in order. Now, first one here, this is fast cut. And like I said, this is basically a wizard based video editing. You come in here, create a new video project, it's going to ask you, okay, give me a file. Okay, okay, there is a video from that file. And then you just kind of go next. Uh, here you can actually preview that video in action and scrub through it. And then you go to next. And you can do some pre-confined templates with some music and sound effects going on and apply the template on. Or you could create your own template and you create your movie. Okay. Closing that down. <laughs> so you see here, there is a little bit more options you can do. You can optimize, you can color correct, uh, you can apply different templates, special effects, predefined. Uh, and then we can get into uh, 3D tiles, 3D morphs, transitions. So you do actually have some more functionality here for editing between sequences. Uh, but for the most part, this is probably too simple for 99% of people. But if you're just creating a simple movie to share, like uh, the family members, that kind of thing, uh, fast cut may work for you. But for most people, it is probably too simple. So that is what you get at the very, very basic $1 tier. Now, moving up to the next tier, we've got SoundForge and Vegas Movie, movie Studio. Uh, now, SoundForge itself, like like I said, this is just like Audacity. It's a video edit, or sorry, an audio editing file. The cool thing about this one, as opposed to Audacity, because uh, Audacity is an open source project, to get MP3 support, you have to jump through some hoops. Here, since this is a commercial project, you get it out of the box. Uh, what you do, bring in your audio file. So let me just go down, get one of the files I edit. So I do, here we'll use duality again. I do um, this for every single project I do here. Basically, what I will do is I will come in, I will mix things down from stereo to mono, because I record in mono. Um, and then what I often do is come down, get rid of background noise, um, compress it so that we have a very consistent sound across all volumes, etc. And that is done. Basically, come on in here. You can go into um, you got effects and you've got uh, process. What we want to do is process, normalize and normalize. Watch all the waveforms and we will see it will go across the board. And you can see all the waveforms are very consistent volume now. So you get it. So everybody will hear the same thing pretty much regardless of the hardware. It also allows me to record at a slightly lower volume and increase it up. But a lot of times what you want to do things, quick things like um, if I have clacking of my keyboard, I can come in here and run effects to, um, where was that, tools. Uh, again, I am very new to this this program itself. But you see here in the audio restoration, we have things like de-hissing, de-noising, de-clipping, de-clicker, de-clacker. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I would say on the whole, this program is slightly easier to use than Audacity and to learn than Audacity. Uh, we've also got here, uh, one of the things you might have saw is VSTs. Uh, these are plugins. We've got various different VSTs that we can set up and run. So say I want to have a distortion effect. We've got the VST here for distortion running. We can play my sound in the background. Uh, da, 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 da. And then, mm. all right, I'm not gonna find one easily, but the cool thing is things that you do over here, or property you do over here will actually be exposed like that. and so we editable can see the effect on in the, the fly. Editor. So if you, uh, we can cancel it out because I don't want to actually apply that to the sound effect, but you see there is a VST hookup going on here. But otherwise, mostly what you're gonna come in here, do is come in, edit the waveforms, uh, cut them up, um, you know, mute them down, go through the EQ process and, you know, normalize the volume, the same standard stuff you do with most audio files. This is your audio editing workplace work environment. And then when you're done and good to go, you can come in in here and export out. So let's go find our uh, save as, and you will see your export files are Wave MP3, WMA, AIF, Og Vorbis, AAC, and FLAC. So you can also use this program basically just for doing uh, straight out conversions. I'll go show you the input port as well. So we can come up here and we can open, and the supported files are Wave MP3, QuickTime Sound Designer, uh, WMA, ASF, AUG, FLAC, video files, uh, RAW, etc. So you've got most of your standard audio file formats are in there. So if you just need this even as an audio conversion program, that is an option for you. Again, there are open source good options like um, 
uh, audio or sub audacity so uh, this may not sell you either way but if it is in your toolbox i actually found this a little bit easier to work with even with not knowing my way around it then i do find audacity at the same time so standard sound editor but still needs to pick up but the next step up is the uh, Movie Studio 15. Now this is basically a subset of Vegas Pro. Uh, this is a much easier video editor. So you see here, this is one of the pre-configured setups. And you see, you can still get pretty complicated going on. So you've got uh, a stereo waveform going on here. Uh, you've got the ability to move it around in the scene. You've got your timeline down here at the bottom. To this guy, we can change the ultimate. So there I'm changing the volume of the waveform by multiple, by changing it that way. Uh, we could do a ramp in or out, so we could have it fade in over time as the sound comes in. So it's pretty easy, straightforward to work with um, kind of interface. We can even actually acquire audio right here. So if we want to do a, like a voiceover work, we can do it that way. Uh, we've got special effects we can apply to our track. Um, so, and we can stack them. It's another nice thing. This comes from both Vegas Pro and um, Movie Studio have this functionality. So we can add special effects on top. That, so I could come down here and add another uh, special effect. So if I want distortion, delay, or flange, or reverb, or whatever, or stutter on top of that, you can chain audio effects together. Same way you can do for video effects as well, actually. So if I wanted to do, so I've got my different video layers here. So here is where they show the, oops, going back. So you see, we've got the uh, Vimeo, Facebook, YouTube kind of aspect of this particular video. Well, we've got the special effects feature for it, so we can drag that up. And here you'll see that we can uh, apply effects to this guy that isn't what I want. Here we go. So we see the current chain here as we got an event pan and crop already applied. And again, I can chain in other visual special effects to this guy. So we can do a whole lot of, we can add a film grain. Uh, we can add a whole bunch of stuff to be honest, but way beyond what I'm going to get into this video. But the cool thing that I found with this guy, so once you've got you know your titles together, all your various different video layers together, your fades and your transitions between them all defined, and that's what these little guys at the corners are doing is showing like the, the change, the fade in and fade out between each different aspect of video. Um, you can then produce your video, so project, and then when you want to do, say, a make movie, you've automatically got YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook upgrade, or you can save it straight out to your hard drive. You save it out to your hard drive, you'll notice your output formats. You include MOV, MPEG-2, MP4, AV, CHD, and you get into your advanced options, and your advanced options are advanced options. So we got a ton of different formats, including a bunch that they ship for up to 4K 60 FPS video already pre-configured, but as you can see, there's presettings here for a number of different video formats here for you to work with. All right, so that is Movie Studio. This is a subset basically of, and finally we get to Vegas Pro. Now Vegas Pro is the daddy, and that's also probably the one I'm going to show you the least because I have the least hands-on experience with this newest version. What I can tell you is it seems to be a lot streamlined from the previous version, which I definitely like. But what we can do is we can bring in things like uh, sound effect, uh, a movie, and an image. We'll drop those into Vegas Pro, into our media bin. So there we have all three to work with. So then we can come on down here. We could just basically drop our movie into the timeline. And this is kind of cool. It says, oh, this video doesn't match what we've got. Would you like to do so? And it automatically syncs. So we changed our project to be a 1080p at 30 frames per second to match what the video I recorded was. And now we've got a video channel and uh, sorry, an audio channel, a video channel to start working with. And we can apply effects to those things. Uh, we can cut them up. We can split them down. So at any point in time, I could grab both channels like so, right click, and then we can do a split. So now we could go ahead and in that particular area in between, we can add whatever we want, or we could just cut the video down at that point in time. And of course, you've got uh, special effects right there that you could change with. Uh, we could bring in a, so say we wanted to have a timestamp over our video. We can again, come back here, track our timeline back towards the beginning, uh, drop our video into the sequence. Oops, I wanted that to be more towards the top. So this, this is like a Z order drawing. So you see now it's at the very top, but it's obviously way too big. So let's do a, a scale down transition on that. So we come here, go to effects, uh, and then we're going to do, uh, what do I want? Vegas resize or scale. Uh, I don't see it immediately. Uh, zoom, probably not what I want. I want pan and picture and picture. Yeah, what the hell? We'll do a picture and picture effect. So there you see, that could be another video. And 
as an example. But here we go, we're we'll placing it in the scene. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we can actually layer effects on top of it. So there, if we had our hit film installed, all of those options will be there. So let's put uh, TV damage on our effect. And we'll do an add. So now we have TV damage, actually twice. So let's move that effect out. And we could keep stacking our effects. So if we wanted to do, uh, like, uh, what else? What do we want to do? Okay, well, black and white's not gonna do much there now, is it? Uh, a Gaussian blur. So add a Gaussian blur on top. And then we could obviously come in at any point in time and edit the settings on these different sets, but those were all gonna stack together and those are all being applied on our surface up there. So now you see we have a very Gaussian blurred image. We can uh, move that up and down. So the results will change as we do it. And you'll notice the preview is coming up in real time to when we're editing it. And I am really honestly just <clears throat> scratching the very, 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 very minimum surface here. What we can do some really cool things like um, alpha overlays where we can, you know, you know when you see like text in a, in a video scene or uh, 3D overlays or, or layering between different effects and that kind of stuff. That is the kind of stuff here that Vegas Pro is worth. Now Vegas Pro itself is one of those things that could take 20 or 30 different videos. But basically the, the, the gist of it is you bring in all your audio, your video, you, you splice it together, you do transfer transitions between it. There are dozens of transitions. There are dozens of filters. There are dozens of audio effects. There are dozens of all these things. You build them up, work them all together. You make many, many, many layers that stack on top of each other and work in blending different ways, just like you do with layers in something like a Photoshop until you have a video result that you like. And then when you've got a video result you like, you basically come up here, do an export, and you've got all these very different options. Or you can do a share online and go straight up to the likes of Facebook, Vimeo, and YouTube. And again, there are an absolute ton of options of what you can do. Or you can just render as, and then dun, dun, dun. And I think this guy, I might actually be wrong, but I think we could actually measure, render out to an animated GIF file if you really, really wanted to. But as you can see, like the other one, there are a ton of different formats supported outside the box. Um, and then we have a lot of function I'm not even touching on here. You've got um, tools for uh, fixing media, fixing audio. You've got things for burning CDs and discs and DVDs. There's that DVD extension we saw earlier. There even, you get into uh, scripting. You've got a bunch of scripts already defined. There is, so if I wanted to switch down and run a mono to stereo, that script just ran and monoized my sound. So you see, you've got a scripting option built in there. There is a ton of functionality in here. You can even actually print video out to tape if that's your thing. But I got a feeling the majority of us aren't really working on that kind of stuff. So there there is a huge amount of functionality here. There's also a bunch of uh, things you can do like generators, special effects and so on. So for example, I need text in my world. I can easily create it using a generator. You see there is my text. Let's just change that out to my text. And then once again, you are seeing it being previewed in real time. So we'll go ahead, we'll set the color out to pink like that. And you can drag it into the world. So let's close that down. Let's add my text to the world. Let's move that layer to the very top so it is being drawn, and there you see your my text. And then we can do things like we can actually animate that. So we could sit here for an animation, we could put a bounce animation on it. And then now when we Today we're checking out the duality game engine, that's because duality said text. And that's really, I get, I am just skirting the very, very, very top of the surface. But if you've used a previous version of Magic, you'll probably notice that this user interface is a heck of a lot more intuitive than the previous versions were. I don't know if 16 got a whole lot better, but I know that 15 is just that much more usable than 14 was. And I'm more likely to explore this guy a lot more in my near future, see what kind of stuff I can do. Right now I use a combination of Camtasia Studio Studio and OBS uh, for most of my work and I'll be interested to see if Vegas is a good alternative for that stuff. It's definitely got a lot more functionality than what I currently use. I just don't know if I actually need that functionality, at least not yet. But if you are looking for a professional video editing suite, uh, Vegas Pro might be a very good match for you. Again, there is a heck of a learning curve. It's a lot easier now, but it is still a complicated program. Um, but if that one is a little too daunting for you, the cool thing is Movie Studio, really as you saw, a lot of the, the functionality is the same. You'll see if we add the, the uh, go to the effects wizard, we're literally dealing with the same effects and the same settings with those effects. So if we're doing um, different kind of scenes and, and what you learn here as you learn it should transition if you decide to go up to Vegas Pro. I'm not sure if there's file interrupt. So this is a VF. So let me see if I can open a VF file in Vegas Pro. So file, open, 
VF. Yep, so Movie Studio project files can be opened in uh, Vegas Studio Pro. So if you do decide to work with the one, but you will need to start adding more advanced special effects, maybe spend the extra buck 50 and get the most full unlocked version. All right, that is it. So that is the new Vegas Pro Humble Bundle. Like I mentioned, this is really kind of only of interest to a very niche portion of game developers. But if you are working on editing videos or you're doing tutorials or you're doing, like this is something that more and more game developers have to do because you have a um, YouTube channel potentially to promote your game or you're cutting a trailer for it or um, you just want to make your you're doing a um, patreon or a kickstarter pitch or something you need to create a video instead of just having like a flat uncut video you probably are best served doing a little bit of a you know post-processing job on it and you're not going to want to go out and spend six seven eight hundred bucks on something like or i guess that's all subscription now but you're not going to want to buy premiere and if you're not on a mac obviously you're not going to use um final cut so this is on the windows side of things one of the best options out there for video editing and at 20 $25, it is arguably the best option. So that's why I ultimately decided to cover it. Let me know down below. Are you interested in this kind of coverage or just 100% game development stuff in the future? Again, I decided to go with this one because, hey, I bought it. I'm going to be using it myself. And since I already got it, might as well share it out with you guys. So hopefully at least a few of you guys found this useful. And for those of you that are still awake and still out there, let me know. Are you thinking about picking this up? I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.